you baseball from one of the crown jewels of the sport, venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Chicago Cubs. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Zach Davey, a Washington right-hander, gets the starting assignment. Dan, please, Zach, what do you got? Hey, thanks, Matt. Zach Davey's coming on the pitch. Not a big, strong guy, but he's a control guy that pumps the strike zone full of strikes. 89 to 92 miles an hour with sink. Has a curveball, has the slider, and also the straight changeup. He needs all four of his powering. You'll know if he's on early, he'll be throwing a lot of ground balls. In. There's one down to lead off the frame. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, I'm going to be playing close attention to Starling Marte. In his career against this starting pitcher, he's got a batting average of over 350. That's not ridiculous, but it does mean he's had some really good at-bats against him in the past. So we'll see if he continues to see the ball well against this pitcher in this one. Miguel Rojas comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Dan D. Rowe, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able, those are the tough ones, but they should be able to put this one behind them. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, D. Rowe, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find One a consistent ball, zone. You just can't. One ball and two strikes to count. Shorts and T-shirts, the order of the afternoon. 92 degrees here at first pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A.B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. Now at the plate, Starling Marte. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count, 0-1-1. Rojas leads off first with one away. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. The one one. If he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you can see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. And that'll bring in Garrett no, Cooper as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. He's one for two. The 1 0. And it's fouled away.
the 1-1. One -one. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. The guy who's willing to work east-west consistently with a great cutter two-seamer combo. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. Marlins lead one. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack, no score. Sandy Alcantara is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Marlins. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy is doing quite a job against lefties. He's held lefties to an under 200 batting average to start the season, so he's doing a lot of things right when the lefties step into the batter's box. Now with the plate is Matt Duffy. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman. Pitch on the way. Duffy. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. These Marlins, as they take the field this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. The pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. And there's one He's away. That is second. The right field. Big day. Hayward. Here's Jason Hayward now. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. First pitch on the way. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. One out, nobody on. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Alcantara has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, nope, and he throws ball. both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Hey, I'm not sure what he was that sitting on good. right there. Might have been Third sitting base. on an off-speed pitch, Three. but instead he gets the fastball oh, yeah. way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Here's Chris Bryant now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's one for five. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Hey, you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch, expecting the nasty slider to break down and away, and it hung in the middle of the plate. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Cubs are down in order, and this is still a nothing, nothing ballgame. Now it'll be Corey Dickerson who was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Here it comes. That's the ball. That counts one and one. Pass ball to the count two one.
swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first down. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Pitch on the way. Brian Anderson is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. No score here as we play inning number two. Fouled off. Here's another 0-2. I got to count one and two. Grounded to the right. Rizzo is there. And there's out Got number two. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing? He's down one and two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Ball, swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Javier Baez. Not shortstop, Javier Baez. The pitch. Ball, that's the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. That is good. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Now one down with the bases empty, and that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Pitch on its way. Ball. Below the Damn. knees, one ball, no strikes. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Good action one on the sinker, strikes, one and yeah. two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Rizzo will head for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. So a good job of going the other way here as he checks in with the one-out double. And as we take a look there at the team leaderboard, you can see he ranks third best on this Chicago ball club.
Next to dig in, David Bodie. Lifetime in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First offering. Rizzo leads off second with one gun in the inning. Hit to short. He's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. So the next to bat will be Jake Marisnik. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch of the AB now. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back to Wrigley Field, home of the Cubs, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. When it comes to their team ERA, they enter the day with one of the best in the league. And talking with some of the pitchers earlier, they mentioned how they've all been able to inspire each other this year. One said, every one of these guys seems to bring their best to the mound every single day. So that really motivates me to do the same. We hold each other to a pretty high standard, and that works for us. Clearly, it's a group that takes a ton of pride in what they do, guys. Leading off for the All moment. right, thanks, Heidi. The right field. Connor. Scott. First pitch on its way. Connor Scott Ooh, is in to there. start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Down low and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Three and one the count now. Swing and miss there. Three and two. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. The three two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. It looked like this at that had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3 0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. And now, Sandy Alcantara. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole over two now. Third inning, no score to this point. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. John Birdie. At the plate now, John Birdie. As he rips it on the ground to second. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. I'm not sure if this happened or not, but sometimes when you're playing behind a pitcher who's doing all of the work himself, you get caught up a little bit in kind of a trance and you get lulled to sleep out there. Looked like to me he was caught a little off guard when the play came his way. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Oh. 
into the box. Miguel Rojas. That's a strike to throw down. It's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Hit on the ground to third. Bryant is up with it. Throws there at first, so the error doesn't hurt him on the scoreboard as the inning is over. One left for Miami. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the third now. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. The catcher, Austin Romine. First pitch on the way. No balls and a strike to count. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Batting Great shot. movement on that slider oh, and it completely locked yeah. up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire though. So now to the plate Zach Davies. And on the first pitch he hits it in the air to right. Scott is there, two down. The batter, number five. Now back to the Second top of the lineup, pitch. stepping in, Matt. Matt Duffy. Second at bat now, he grounded out to start the home first. Pitch on the way. Nope, that's down. Ball and he down. falls behind now, 2-0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Scott gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. Three up three down for the Cubs. We'll head to the fourth still scoreless. Start of the fourth, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Starling Marte. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound. This one's down. It's the first hit for the Marlins, and it's going to be for extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Standing in now, Garrett Cooper. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go with a start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I do know when a guy at the plate is a stud like that and first base is open, there's absolutely zero reason to put the ball in the strike zone. I think he was trying to work around him and it just got away. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that'll hit off the Ivy out there. 
so much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given a chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And now, Brian Anderson. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the stretch. Ball. I got one ball, one Cooper, the runner at third. Dickerson is at second with nobody out. This is on the ground for Baez. It's short. He's right there. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. now Up next for Miami, Jorge Alfaro looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Behind 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Outside the strike zone for out number two. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal, hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire. But looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. From the belt, the pitch. This is skied into short left center. Baez ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Miami's out in front, two to nothing. Now into the box, Jason Hayward struck out in his first at bat. Here's the pitch. Ball one. And that misses low and away. Ball one. Ball one no Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Popped him up. Anderson is there for it. One down. So one away here in the Chicago Fort, and that will bring up Chris Bryant. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. And it's fouled away. 
Oh and two count. Here's the pitch. No runs just one hit one error for the Cubs to this point. The Down and away it's a ball and two strikes. Hey that's a nice take by the batter right there but that's a non competitive off speed pitch got to do better to at least entice a swing. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. And that brings up Javi Baez. Baez. And now the first pitch. Ball. Too low, 1 0. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Fouled off. Two balls ball and a two. strike to Javi Baez. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. This one's down to third. Right to him. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. He played four full. The Marlins lead it two to nothing. So here now is the pitcher Sandy Alcantara struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah but it was a good change up Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The wind up and the 0 1. Now you guys know me hitting's a process of elimination and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. At the plate now John Birdie. He'll take a look nope. at the pitch too low. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And he Ooh, watches one miss out. outside. Two and oh now. Two runs on two hits and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And he fouls this one off. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Miguel Rojas will be next. The three one. Count still full three and two. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now that Miguel. Next to hit is Miguel Rojas, grounded out in his last at bat. First offering. Hit down the third baseline. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that'll bring in Starling Marte with two away. Uh, hey, d -Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game. And now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it.
Here's Starling Marte. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. He's one for two in this one. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. Hayward gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Marlins lead one, but they're on top two to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's off in the bottom of the fifth because they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can tell in between innings the veterans in that dugout going up and down the line trying to keep this lineup from getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together. Maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. Owen won the count. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forged his head nothing in two. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. The one-two. Rizzo out in front here as this is pulled foul into the seats in right. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing yeah, around trying Let to pick at corners. He's being Take aggressive this. in the zone, and he's Throw attacking deep. each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Stepping in now, David Bodie. As the first pitch one to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0 home is looked at for ball number two. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Now the 2 0. Three oh, and oh now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. He loses him on ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. They'll cut the score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Here's Jake Marisnik. confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play and he throws him a four seamer. Oh and one here it comes high in the air down the right field line and it's a foul ball. 
Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. Five innings complete. Marlins lead this one two to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Garrett Cooper. He's tasked with starting the Marlins sixth. Here's the pitch. First pitch the of the ball. inning is taken downstairs for a ball. Count it's 1-0. One one oh. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Ball, ball two. Ball. Cooper stands at an impressive 6-5. Swings the bat and throws right-handed. He was taken in the sixth round back in the draft of 2013. Hey, nothing has been handed That's to this guy three. drafted in the middle rounds, and Count he has found his way up. in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So now to the plate, Corey Dickerson, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Oh and one here it comes. Cooper gets his lead at first nobody out. No contact there and it's one and two. He doesn't have a big fastball but he was able to get that pitch by him and Matt that's 100 percent a result of setting up with the off speed pitches before it. If you're not a hard thrower you could still have some success but you have to learn how to mix speeds and set everything up. That was a nice job right there. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. to the plate now Brian Anderson as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the 0 1. No that down. Runner goes for second. Grounded to first. To second for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. Miami's out in front, two to nothing. Ready now is Austin Romine start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent today. Yeah I think if I'm the hitting coach right here Matty I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Now the first pitch. Wind up. Here comes the 1 0. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Outside. 3 and 0 now. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter.
And that That's one misses. Ball so ball. the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a now run across yet. Double so maybe this walk will jumpstart their double offense double. a little bit. Eric Sogard will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody double out. From the stretch. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. The 0 1 pitch. One ball, one strike. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. Oh. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. Two and one. I got two on the Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. The 2-1 home. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. And a sinker dips and too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Matt Duffy, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. Nobody out, runner on first. On the ground to the left side. Scooped up to second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Now to the plate, here is Matt Duffy, who's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. From the belt, kicks and deals. Strike one to start the at-bat. Runner at first here, one man out. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Here it comes, 0-2. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in the way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season. Well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Swing no and misses. Right. He pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. First and second now, one man out. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone, 0-2 in a big spot. And he was able to spit on that one, hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Fouled away. The next one, two pitch. Inside, ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Here now the two, two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And it's fouled away. Hey, 
Bob takes as that pitch misses for ball four. He'll take the walk. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation. He seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. Here's the first pitch. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte is under it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two-to-one game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Stepping in is Javier Baez. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Ready on 0-2. Nope. Ball one. Good waste pitch, one and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Marlins two and the Cubs one. Dan Winkler is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 43. Yeah. And now here is Jorge Alfaro. First pitch of the AB on its way. Yeah. Oh and one. Fouled off. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, Connor Scott is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's one and zero. Oh. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here.
the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. And he lays oh, off again. Out. Ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold Can't strike, too. Now the three and two pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. There's ball four. Up next for the Marlins, the pitcher. Stepping up is Sandy Alcantara. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. From the stretch. one and they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down and you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that the sacrifice works to perfection back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in John Birdie been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far but his guys are looking for him to change that right here yeah nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game at especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Keep this a one run game, the pitch. Throw the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Get out the microphone. Stretch time here at Wrigley. It's the Marlins two and the Cubs one. Richard Blyer will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Richard. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Anthony Rizzo. First pitch on its way. Now the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tackle right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Here comes another 0-2. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Still one and two as he fouls it away. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound has completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number now one. Boy, Let's talk move. about hitting into hey, some hey. rough luck. That was Go an me. absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. Uh, 
Standing in now, David Bodie. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Yep, Off the plate, ball one ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. That one one is a cutter that misses two and one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there at that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Now the 2 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Now here it comes. So a full count now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of the pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Full count still. Fouled away. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Smoke toward the hole. And that will find its way into right field for a one-out single. You know, D.O., there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we'll get late into this one. Yeah, they always say that you tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. One ball, no strikes to count. Bodie, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Adam Simber takes over here with a runner at first and two gone in the inning. He stands in with a runner at first and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Nope, that's now good. a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That long guard is so good. Oh, Gil, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. Ian Happ will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number eight, Ian First pitch on the way. Lifted the other way down the left field line. After it is Dickerson. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Cubs strand a couple. Our score remains two to one. Ryan Zapera will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Number 18, Ryan Zapera. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping up as the shortstop, Miguel Rojas.
first pitch of the A.B. on its way. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher stuff. Comes set and the 0 1. Ball one. This is on the ground over the first. And they'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the first pitch. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander has begun to get loose. He swings One and misses ball, to strikes, fall behind yeah. a ball and two strikes. One and two, here it comes. Nope, that's the ball. I got to count. Two and two. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And a three and three, two, two full count to Starling Marte. The three and two pitch hit in the air to center field. Settling under it is Marisnik for out number two. The Next the will first be first the first cleanup first. hitter, Garrett yeah. Cooper. It yeah. was a walk in his last trip. First delivery to him. And it's fouled away. Ready with the 0-1. Down the left field line and deep. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ball one. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. It's one and two. Got to think our man behind the plate thought twice about that one. About as close as it gets. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. The uh, two two. Strikes for the second time this afternoon. Miami down in order. They still lead it two to one. John Curtis is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 39, John Curtis. Go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Matt Duffy. First pitch of the AB now. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One ball and one strike to the Cubs leadoff batter. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit down the line. Oh, and a 
it's off the first base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Hey, that's a heck of an approach right there. Lead off single in the late innings. Team's down a little bit. Let's see if this ends up being a huge turning point in this one. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. And the runner back in standing. Into the box now, Jason Hayward, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 0 1 pitch. And there's the ball one. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Count is 1-2 and two now. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. And another foul ball. Corner on the first. Nobody out. Rounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. At the plate, Chris Bryant. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. No hits to this point. Ball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Now the one and one pitch. He's into the zone for a strike. Swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Here's Javier Baez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. to him. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late. And he's in there easily at second. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. back and he falls behind one and two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Yanked the slider across that time laid off for a ball. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three and the inning is over. 
big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. And more of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. Nico Horner will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second year. Now playing second base, number two, Nico Horner. Craig Kimbrell enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Kimbrell. Stepping in, Corey Dickerson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the AB now. 1 0. And it looks like the Cubs will get a left hander up and working out of the bullpen. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Maybe a little one jumpy ball. there as he Two swings three. through the fastball. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. One two is laid off for ball two. Three and two down. Fouled off. Once again, a 3 2. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Fiance ranging into the outfield. He's there and records the first down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So next to bat will be Brian Anderson. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Aye. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. At the ball. Breaking ball called just a bit low. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hit hard on the ground towards second. In time to He's first, up. and there are two away. So now into the box is Jorge Alfaro. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. First pitch of the AB on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Behind 0 and 2 now. Struck him out, so it remains a one run lead as they hit in for their final set of swings. One, two, three go the Marlins. They lead it two to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Roberto Ozuna comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Ball 
set for the bottom of the ninth. Here comes the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Hey, not an easy Anthony. thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. No balls in one strike. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Dickerson on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now so the leadoff man Let's gone move. to start at the top of the ninth hey, hey. as we take a look at lead oh, saves dude. leaders entering play. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. And now to the plate, David Bodie. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The beauty of that sequence right there, the fastball in, now to change up away, is where do you go as a hitter? Do you cover away? Do you cover the heater in? You can't do both. You have to pick a side of the plate and hope that's where he goes. Here comes the one two still a ball and two strikes not surprised he's laid on a heater right there just saw an off speed pitch wanted to stay back a little bit too long that right, misses and we're two even two. at two and two slur doesn't get the call and it's full now three and two. There's Jake Marisnik. He'll get his shot next. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he fouls this one off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Fouled away. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Modi is retired. Two down now. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run, so that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. in now Jake Marisnik as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate he could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far tying run at the plate the 0 1 swing and a miss and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in him. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, a hitter must feel hopeless against that kind of guess. That final pitch was a 100-mile-an-hour fastball, and this thing is over. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. Miami took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Sandy Alcantara with his fourth win this season, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Zach Davies pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Roberto 
Ozuna earns the save out of the bullpen is 26. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Fourth quarter, 10 on the clock, follow-up do wasn't a wrist. I get it, I get it.